Hello folks, my name is Dick Dixon and I'd like to introduce you to a little book of what I hope is humorous poetry that I wrote recently. It is called The Curse of the Square Crow and each one of the 33 poems has an illustration in full colour made by my very good friend Ren Mezoyer, who is French. She has done a wonderful job, as I think you will agree. The first poem in the book is actually the title poem, The Square Crow, which tells the story of a rather unfortunate bird. And here it is. The Square Crow. The Square Crow is unfortunate in several ways, at least. Of course, he's really cubical, this ill-constructed beast. But never mind, what's in a name? A crow is a crow, it's all the same. The square crow is in a grimish mood at every time of day. For being square is quite a trial and wipes his smile away. It's rather painful when he walks, and square tongues are no help to talk. And having square legs hardly helps, except perhaps at cricket. But square crows do not care for it, just standing near the wicket, as crippling as it is to run, though normal crows no doubt have fun. And can the square crow fly, you ask? The answer's not quite clear. It all depends what's meant by flight, but luckily he has no fear. Those square wings make it rather hard to fly much more than just a yard. Which is a pity, don't you think? and would be compensation for inability to run or walk to Hampstead Station. If it's a London crow, of course, a country crow could ride a horse. Before the city crow, you see, there's another way to go. Taxis, vans and cars provide roofs for perching long and low. The square crow need not spend a sou, although, of course, there'll be no loo. But now the worst part must be told. The square crow lives in horror that one day he, or really she, must square up to the mirror and search the square crow's soul for courage, at least as much as she can manage. It's destiny that shapes crow's ends, and square crows are likewise, but somehow strength must now be found, an inward tide of gall must rise, no use to cry out, plead or beg. She's got to lay her first square egg. Well, many thanks for listening, folks. I hope you like what we are doing here. And if so, do look out for more poems from the book and also from other books we've made. By the way, we shall be uploading a new video soon, which we hope you'll also enjoy. Please subscribe to the page to make sure you don't miss it once the video is released, and of course for all our future videos too. For further details of the books we've made, don't forget to visit my website, and please see the comments for the link. Thanks again for watching, and toodaloo until we meet again.